It's the home opener. It's the war on M24. Oh, what the heck. It's Lake Orion Oxford. We've got it all for you here on Orion Neighborhood Television. Good evening, everyone. I'm Doug Corliss, along with Chris Fritching for a 15th season. And it is Lake Orion Oxford. Chris, Lake Orion started out with a barn burner in week one at Michigan, came back last week and pretty much dominated Harper Woods. They've kind of been under the radar, but they're a good team this year. They're a very good team, and they've got so many weapons uh, on, 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 the, on the offensive side of the football. You know, Billy Roberson had four touchdowns in week one. He had one uh, last week. T.R. Hill had a one rushing touchdown in week one. He had two last week. Jackson Vasquez had a big touchdown run, 64 yards uh, at the, in week one. And, and you know, by the way, you got senior Ray Raymond Payne, who had a touchdown last week. I mean, so they've got weapons everywhere. If, you're, if you focus on one player, you've got other players to focus. They can run inside, they can run outside, they can throw the ball. So they've got weapons, they've got flexibility. And that's really nice uh, offensively. Defensively, you know what, yeah, they did give up a number of points in week one. Three touchdown passes, one happened to be an 82-yarder. Uh, but last week, the defense didn't give up any points. They gave up six points. That was on special teams. Yep. Didn't give up anything defensively. So you're right. Between week one and two, that focus was really important on the defensive side of the football, and you saw that last week, and they'll expect to do that again today. And that's the big leap. We've always talked about the improvement in the team between week one and week two. Oxford, disappointing season last year. They were one and eight. Talk to Coach Line before the game. He really likes this squad. They started out with a loss week one and then beat Oak Park last week. Before we came to the stadium tonight, I was concerned because they have so many players going both ways that the heat might be a factor. It's a beautiful night. It's perfect football weather tonight. Exactly. But they're a good squad this year. They are. And, and, and you know, Coach Line, they lost 20 to 6 to Utica Eisenhower that first game. And he said he felt that they won the physical battle against Eisenhower that night. They just lost four or five plays. It just didn't go their way. They didn't capitalize. He likes their senior leadership. He likes the athletes that they have on the football field. And, and he just said after week one, we just got to go back to work and tweak a couple things, turn some wrenches, if you will. And uh, that's what they did last week. And that went over Oak Park. So, um, you know, they're, they, you know what Oxford, an Oxford football team is all about. Zach Line played in it, yep. in the program. He's, he's now coaching in it. You know what they're going to be. They're going to be tough. They're going to be physical. And, and the rivalry in and of itself brings that the best out of everybody. In the OAA, I guess the best way to put it is the dogfight's already on and it's week three. You got West Bloomfield, Lake Orion, and Adams all at 3-0. and Oxford and Stony Creek right behind them at 1-1. One and one. And the surprise so far is Clarkston's 0-2 that's not going to last for long. No, and that's why, again, how many years have we said the OAA Red is one of the best conferences yeah. divisions in, in the entire state of Michigan? Um, because now, in week three of the season, the next five weeks, that's the OAA Reds yeah. playing each other. And this is where the true teams are going to come to the forefront. They're, everyone's going to beat up on one another. Yeah. And so um, that's why tonight's game in the OAA Red is a huge game for both teams, not only because it's the rivalry or in Oxford, but it's the, it's the fact that the OAA Red is so fit, d difficult, you've got to come out with a victory if you can. And next week, West Bloomfield's playing Stony Creek tonight. And by the way, next week, right here, West Bloomfield at Lake Orion. Um, let's focus on first things first, right? Yeah. <laughs> let's get, get this one if you're Lake Orion, and uh, get this one and then focus on that. But you're right, I mean, it's just like, the best of the best, and, and hopefully that's what you want to strive to. And no matter what type of program you are, you want to strive to be playing the best. And week in, week out, we witness that. They witness that, and that's why this is high school football in the state of Michigan. No, I'd rather, no, no place would rather be than right here. You're right there. Wait till the drums go by. It is week three. It is Lake Orion Oxford. We need say no more. Stay with us. 
pregame has been underwritten by Malash's Palace, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. The Malash family has been servicing Lake Orion's automotive needs since the 1950s. Stop by at 3800 South Lapeer Road in Lake Orion or give them a call at 248-393-2222. Orion Township invites families to come out to beautiful Camp Agawam on Saturday, September 23rd for the Fall Festival of Family Fun. The event runs from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. and includes fun activities for the whole family, including crafts, a petting farm, hay rides, carnival games, and a whole lot more. And believe it or not, parking and admission are free. There's nothing like celebrating the first day of fall in Michigan with the entire family. For more information, you can call 248-391-0304, extension 3500, or visit orionparks.com. Civilian gentlemen, please remove your hats. All veterans, we encourage you to render the appropriate salute. And everyone who's able, please stand at attention. Place your hand over your heart as we proudly sing our national anthem. Welcome to the podium, Lake Orion High School Assistant Band Director, Caitlin Jenks, as she leads the Dragon Marching Band in the Star Spangled Banner. Our first quarter sponsor is underwritten by Jets Pizza. Jets Pizza with two convenient locations in the Orient area. Proud supporters of ONTV since 2009. For more information, visit JetsPizza.com. And the scoreboard for the first half of this game is brought to you by Michigan United Credit Union. The full-service financial institution serves everyone who resides, works, worships, or attends school in Michigan. Give them a call at 
4000 or visit their website for more information. Cloudy night tonight and cool for the weather they've had. Good crowd here tonight as there always is for Lake Orion Oxford. Orion won the toss and deferred. They will kick off. Number 11, Bill Hoffman, junior, kicker and linebacker, has it teed up on the 40. Referee Wally Rose blows his whistle. And we're underway. Line drive kick hits at the 20. And goes into the end zone where Oxford will take over first and 10. The, you talked about a good crowd. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what the theme night is tonight, but uh, red, white, and blue everywhere on one side. I think I see it in the, on this side as well. Yeah. Um, but uh, green and white versus uh, those colors from yellow from Oxford. Oxford. Oxford comes out, I formation in the backfield. Motion to this side. Handoff, tailback up the middle. Number 31, Luke Johnson. Breaks it over to 30 and out to the 34 yard line. Call it the 35, it's first and 10 for Oxford. Nice. Nothing, nothing fancy, just off tackle. No, nice, nice tough run by, by Luke Johnson as he got in the open field. He broke the broke the, the tackle and nice stiff arm. And Johnson had over 100 yards rushing in that first game against Utica Eisenhower in week one. Two tight ends, wing right, now motion to the far side, handoff. Taken by the outback number 12, Liam O'Neill. He's dropped for about a four yard loss at the 31. It'll be second and 13. Austin Kahn made the play, but it was Caden DeGraffenry, KD, who made the, the, did the nice job of setting the edge, forcing the back inside to where Kahn was for the, for the loss of three. So second down and 13. Ball set on the right hash. Wildcats come out. Twins left, single wide right, single back in the backfield from the gun. Handoff back to number to Johnson again. He gets back near the original mark. It'll be third down, and they're going to call it nine. Austin Kahn over there, that left cornerback doing a nice job of forcing, forcing Johnson out of bounds. Number three, Jack Hendricks is the quarterback for the Wildcats. He's a sophomore. Coach line's very high on him. Twins left, single wide right. Hendricks on the run, taken down after about a yard gain by KD Graffenreed. Yeah, I mean, the, the fast flow, you know, 6'2", 220 pounds. He's committed to playing football at Howard University yeah. next year. I mean, multiple Division I offers. Uh, you know, he's, he, he, he's fast, he can play, and, and uh, he's fun to watch. He made the play, a big play on third down for the Dragons. So it's fourth and eight. Dragon or the Wildcats drop into punt formation. Number seven, Drew Cady is back deep. And Jackson Vasquez back to return for the Dragons. Short punt. You're gonna let it hit. Hits about the 30, takes a dragon bounce to the 31. And that's where the Dragons will start off first and 10. Good start for that Dragon defense. Building off of last week. 28-6 victory over Oak Park down there. Let's see how the offense starts off this first drive. T.R. Hill leads him out. Billy Roberson's in the backfield. Raymond Payne and Vasquez lined up left. Now Vasquez splits right. 
Sets up on a wing right. And Lake Orion's going to have to take a timeout. They had some problems setting up their formation, and TR did the smart thing and called time. 9.28 to go, no score. Glad you're with us on a cloudy and cool Friday night in Lake Orion. It's, it, it's, it's strange because this is week three, and this is the first Lake Orion home game. It, it is. It's odd. <laughs> I mean, and technically. It was hot this week. And then all of a sudden, tonight, like I said, when, I'm doing, when I was writing up pregame, I'm thinking heat's going to be a factor for these guys on Oxford playing both ways. Dom Novak splits out wide left. Vasquez in a slot left. Payne split right, now goes in motion. He gets the toss. Gets around the left end. He's got a first down and more up to and over midfield. Raymond Payne on the sweep, and he gets it up to midfield. It'll be first and 10 for Lake Orion. It's technically a pass because the, the pass is going yeah. forward. So it's a completion one of one, 18 yeah. yards, take the first down. So, but it's that speed that getting to the edge that uh, Lake Orion's had success with so far this year. Billy Roberson up the middle, cuts it outside, gets about four. It'll bring up second and six. You know, Coach Bell said at the beginning of the year that, you know, talking about Billy Roberson, he said, we return one of the state's best running backs in Billy Roberson. In fact, he said Billy might be the best back this school has ever had. Now, Lake Orion has some, had some outstanding yeah. backs. Think of that. Uh, think of that praise right there for Billy. And we've seen it for the last couple years. Yes, we have. Pain in motion, takes the handoff, and he's dropped immediately. Penalty on the far side of the field came in late. Evan er Geringer came in from his defensive back position and stoned him. It looked like Dom Novak missed his block or, or slashed inside, and that's what blew up the play in the backfield. There is a penalty on the far side, though. Yeah. It's a procedure call against the Dragons. Declined by Oxford. They'll keep the down box moving and make it third down and, and 10 from midfield. Jamari Cooper lines up wide right. Dom Novak splits wide left. Payne in a slot, Vasquez in a slot right. TR back to throw. Looking, looking, trying to cut back. Gets an opening, gets a block. Throws deep downfield. Caught! What a catch by Dom Novak. Great catch, great poise, great composure, but... Uh, there is a flag. Offensive linemen, I think, were downfield on that play. I think they thought TR was going to run. Ineligible man downfield is my guess. Yep, exactly. Number 54 is Landon Morris. Junior offensive lineman. And you're right, Chris, that play took so long to develop to where he decided he was going to throw that those linemen don't know. Yeah, and that, that's tough to communicate because TR is such a, a versatile athlete quarterback that you know, you, you'd think he would tuck it around, but he did a nice job of coming back across the grain mm -hmm. and, and looking downfield. He was composed enough and, and uh, to be able to see that, have the vision. And that's, that's the growth you're seeing already yes. in TR Hill from last year. Third and 15. TR drops. Gets a block. Looks. Throws. Oh! The ball jumped about three times. Billy Roberson had a shot at it. 
and just couldn't hold on and the Dragons will have to punt. Bill Hoffman drops back in punt formation for the Dragons and Liam O'Neill is back deep for Oxford. Wobbly kick. Takes a Lake Orion bounce, stays in bounds. Down inside the 10 to the six. It was a low wobbly punt, but took a Lake Orion bounce and just kept going down to the six where Oxford will take over first and 10. Today's game is a copyrighted presentation of Lake Orion High School's Dragon Broadcasting Program and Orion Neighborhood Television. The Lake Orion Broadcast Program has been awarded the title of Best Overall Program in the Country. We bring to you over 80 live sporting events and will match that this year. Plus, you can catch our award-winning daily newscast, LOAM. Tune in at dragonbroadcasting.com. Luke Johnson on the run. No gain. It'll be second and two. Yeah, DeBrink, second and ten. I'm sorry, Doug. Debrink had got in so fast, and, and Johnson had to cut back inside, and he kind of slipped on his cut to get back to the line of scrimmage. So second and ten, and you won't see the ball in the air a lot with Oxford. They like to run it and grind it. Motion far this side. Handoff up the middle again. Number 31, Luke Johnson on the run. He's got a first down at the 19-yard line. 6.54 to go here in the first. No score. Nice design little trap play up the middle. Two wides, motion this side. Hendricks on the pass. And the flag came in late. It looked like a great pass breakup. Broken up. Technique was good. He had the proper hand up on the, uh, the, the wide receiver, which was the left hand. But I think it was that right arm that was wrapped around just a touch early. That's why they made the call. Austin Kahn on the coverage for the Dragons. So that'll be a first down out to the 34. Yeah, Austin Kahn was one of the ones that Coach Bell talked to us about pregame. is doing so well this year. Handoff up the middle, tripped up and dropped for about a half a yard loss. He was tripped up because Ryan McCartan was in there in the backfield, getting Le good penetration. Liam O'Neill again on the carry. Second and 10. Single wide. Now motion this side. Hendricks back to pass. Being pressured, down he goes. Brandon Nepchuk and others. Yeah, Carson Negri was the one who forced him up into the pocket into the other Dragon defenders. And uh, you've seen some good pressure, some good penetration by that Dragon defensive line so far and the linebackers. They play, we talked about this in pregame. They really got it together last week. They're playing really well so far tonight. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're a little young up front, but, but you know, they got a lot of good football players that are gonna play hard, and that's, that's the key. Um, and so you're seeing that right now. They're playing hard. And three games into the season, they got a little experience under their belt. Third and 14, four wides, complete. Hendricks put up, put it on a rope to Evan Gehringer. Oxford going hurry up. 
Really good pitch and catch by Hendricks. They're looking. Oxford came up to the line right now. It's now they're calling it a first down. Oxford was going to hurry up to the line, and the official said, wait a minute, we're going to see if it is indeed a first down, and it was. And that's why Oxford rushed to the line, because they, yeah. they wanted it just in case it wasn't. So now they can reset and call the play. First and 10 from the 44, I formation in the backfield. Toss back. Johnson's in the clear and he's going to go. Luke Johnson found a hole and turned the Jets on. 56 yard. You're darn right he turned the Jets on. Usually we talk about a runner getting past that first wave, there was no second wave for the Dragons. Everything was playing in close. Well executed by Oxford. Jay Cady, senior captain, is on for the extra point. Ball's down, kick is up, and the kick is good. 4.53 to go here in the first. Oxford goes out to a seven to nothing lead. Once again, let's watch this again. Nice cut back right there okay. and just a missed tackle. Yep. Ryan McCartan had a shot at him and just couldn't get a hold of him. Once again, replays for this game are sponsored by Jets Pizza. Jets Pizza with two convenient locations in the Orion area. Proud supporters of ONTV since 2009. For more information, visit JetsPizza.com. Six plays, 93 yards, time of possession, two minutes and 43 seconds, a 56-yard touchdown run by Luke Johnson. He had 67 yards on that drive alone. And that big third down conversion yep. was the key. And this is what Oxford does. They will run it right down your throat. Although we did see Hendricks throw a couple good balls on that drive. High end over end kick into and out of the end zone. The Dragons will take over first and 10 on their 20. Hey, filmmakers, be ready. The Wildwood Film Festival will be kicking off on Thursday, October 5th at the Orion Neighborhood Television Studio located at 1349 Joslin Road. Teams will be given their requirements, which include a prop, location, and line of dialogue that is to be included in their film. You will have until 6 p.m. on Tuesday, October 10th, to submit the film. And I'll finish this after this play. Dragons come out, double wide, double slot, single back in the backfield, T.R. Hill from the gun. Handoff, Roberson trying to break it outside. Gets maybe one and a flag comes in. Dom Novak is signaling that it's against Oxford. So if you look at the last two games, Lake Orion's been in this situation in those first two games. They've been down yeah. the first score. So, nothing new so far. Face mask, five yard face mask against the defense. So that will make it first and five from the 25. Twins left. Tight formation along the line. Roberson again, breaking it outside. Turning the Jets on. He's over midfield, still going, cuts it inside, and he's going to go. Billy Roberson from 75 yards out. 
That's what Howard University saw in that young man. What a job of weaving through traffic. Weaving, uh, you're right, weaving through traffic, but he, look at the green down here making those blocks or setting up little angles for Roberson to make the cuts when he needed to. Great job everywhere by the Dragons. That's how you get back into a football game. Answer a score with a score. Hoffman on for the extra point. Ball's down, kick is up. And the kick is good, 4.21 to go. Here in the first, we're tied at seven. And to finish my read from before that <laughs> touchdown play, on Wednesday, oh, we're gonna watch the replay again. Good block there, right good there. block on the perimeter. And look at him turn the speed on right there. But look at the help down for you. One, two, three green jerseys all going down to make blocks, knocking a guy down. Johnson's trailing, thinking he's going to get Roberson, but no, he's not. Tied it up just like yep. that. Okay, on Wednesday, the Wildwood Film Festival films will be viewed and judged at 7 p.m. at the Oxford 7 Cinema in Oxford, open to all ages. It costs $25 per team to enter, and the winners will receive a cash prize. The contest benefits the North Oakland Community Coalition Program. To register, go to www.orientontv.org or call 248-393-1060. Line drive kick taken on the six. Up to the 20, 25, and down over to 30 at the 31 is... Owen Pavlock. Yeah, Owen Pavlock, number 13, junior. So Oxford takes over. First and 10, they're calling it the 32. Try to set that Dragon defense. Lane Garris is up front, Ryan McCardin. Trey Pacmara at one corner position. Hendricks throws out of bounds. <laughs> 73, Brandon Nupchak, we've called his name tonight. Lane Garris. Yeah, Peyton McIntyre. Ryan McCarden were in there in the pressure, forcing the, the errant throw. Carson Negri at a linebacker position. Akili Rush at another linebacker position. Second and 10. Hit in the backfield and taken down. To Graffin Reed coming off the edge. And Peyton McIntyre cut in like a shot. Yeah, De Graffin Reed is a force to be reckoned with from that linebacker position. It's third and 11 for Oxford. Pass over the middle, caught and dropped. And there's gonna be another flag coming out, this time against Trey Pacmara. There's three of them out there. Yeah. They all saw the same thing, I guess. I think Trey tried to, tried to climb his back. And that'll draw it every time. That'll be a first down. The ball will be spotted on the 46. Yep. Yep. You're, you're right. All over his back. Can't do that. And that's a, that's a, even though it was a it was a penalty conversion, they converted on a third down. Yep. So that's that's two last two drives, two big third down conversions for the Wildcats. 
Single wide out. Now, handoff up the middle. There goes Johnson again. Inside the 10 and taken down at the one. Luke Johnson did it again. And let's give some credit to that offensive line of the Wildcats. They're opening up holes for Johnson. And Johnson really, I mean, obviously he's a long strider. And he's got some speed, but he's got good vision as well. And that's what you've got to be if you want to be a good running back. And he's got that. Hand off into the line, maybe a yard loss. They're going to mark it down. The nose of the football is touching the two. So second and goal. High formation in the backfield. Johnson in for the score. He's done it all tonight. From three yards out, they're calling it. Katie on for the extra point. Ball's down, kick is up, and the kick is good. 2.35 to go here in the first. It's now 14 to seven, Oxford. And just broke it outside and Pac Mara tried to square up on him and Johnson just kind of pushed him out of the way. Five plays, 68 yards, time of possession, 138. Three-yard touchdown run by Luke Johnson. Luke Johnson, 55, excuse me, 51 yard, 53 yards on that particular drive himself. He's over 100 yards, and he's only in the first quarter. So Katie will kick off. Raymond Payne and Jackson Vasquez. Back deep for the Dragons. We talked about it the pregame about how Coach Line in, in week one thought they won the physical battle. Even though they lost the game, they won the physical battle. Well, guess what? In the first ten or you know, nine and a half minutes or so, you're yeah. seeing Oxford's coming off the ball and yes, making some they, plays and making some holes for Johnson yep. to get through. That offensive line, you know, just say they they've done their job tonight so far. But is that that's not a surprise if you're 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 ox you know you know what to right. expect when, right. when you're playing this game. You know the type of brand of football that Oxford wants to play. And uh, whether you can simulate that in practice each during the week, that's the challenge. It's hard to do that in practice when you've got that that's a constant, constant, constant. Your scout teams have problems trying to replicate that. Trips to the right, single wide left. TR on the carry, slips and goes down about the 24 yard line. It'll be second down. And guess who was in there? I know he, he did, he, he'll, he'll get credit for the tackle. Um, he didn't tech, touch him, he touched him down. He was down, he slipped, TR slipped, but guess who was there on the tackle? Probably Johnson. Luke Johnson, yeah. yes, exactly. TR. On the throw, Raymond Payne's got it. Tried to cut it inside and got dropped at the 28. It'll be third and two. I won't be surprised if, if, uh, if Johnson is driving the school bus back to Oxford tonight. <laughs> so it's third and two for the Dragons.
Billy Roberson. Can he get there? No, he can't. Sean Wilson, captain, came from his linebacker spot and disrupted that play. And so it's fourth and one, and Coach Bell's going for it. Now they're going to punt. So Hoffman is in punt formation. Takes a dragon bounce inside the 15 and down to the 13 yard line. So Hoffman's going to have some pretty impressive punting stats. 58-yard punt. As Oxford will take over first and 10, let's call it the 13-yard line. Well, that was one of the things you know they focused on this week. Uh, last week, they gave up two big plays on special teams, 85-yard punt return and a 58-yard kickoff return. So that was a, a point of emphasis this week coming into Oxford. So Oxford takes over, ball's spotted the center of the field on the 13, 31.8 seconds to go here in the first quarter. It's been an exciting first quarter. And timeout. They're calling a timeout, and that's that's something that no offense wants to do is just get out to take the field. And for whatever reason, they use up that 25-second clock. Next thing you know, they got to call a timeout. But you're this deep in, in your own territory, you want to make the right decision. Right. So you, you, you do call it timeouts as opposed to taking the delay of game or misalignment of personnel or what have you. So good, uh, good choice. For the Cats, I see on the yeah. scoreboard it says the Cats. Yeah. I've not seen that one before. It's always no, I know they've, <laughs> they've had Oxford up there before. I've never seen just Cats. Hopefully defense co defensive coordinator Rick Powell had a chance to settle his troops down a little bit. They'll make adjustments all through the game. First and 10. Johnson again, and this time he's brought down after about a six yard gain. Have it. Having a ton of, ton of success up the middle. Johnson finding his way through the holes. Well, we were going to have a replay, but the screen went blank. That's the end of the first quarter. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. We played one. It's Oxford, 14. Lake Orion, 7. Hey, Larry Buss and the crew at Jets Pizza. As a matter of fact, uh, located at 1091 South Lapeer Road, have been a proud supporter of Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Athletics since 2009. Jets supplies catering for cast and crew. Thank you, Larry, for your continued support. Give them a call at 248-814-7559. Not only for more information, but to order dinner. And the second quarter is underwritten by Detroit Wing Company. Established in January of 2023, Detroit Wing Company in Oxford, located on the northeast corner of Trainer and Lapeer Roads. They offer 20 signature sauces for their classic wings, boneless wings, 
and hand-battered chicken tenders, with guest favorites including honey barbecue, garlic parmesan, classic buffalo, honey chipotle, whiskey barbecue, and sweet heat. And we'll finish this read after this play. Handoff up the middle. Johnson stood up and backed up. Andrew Parker to Graffin Reed in on the stop that time. Tyler Ratliff was in there to stand him up. Gain of about one. It'll be second or third down and three. Just underway here in the second quarter. Oxford leads 14 to seven. Wide outs each side, I formation in the backfield. Batted. Caden De DeGraffen Reed again got in there. Great job of getting into the line of sight or the, the passing lane of the quarterback. And that ball still almost got to the intended receiver, yeah. but uh, just a little bit short. He had to come back for it, dive for it. Incomplete. Nice, uh, nice stand by the Dragons defense. So it's fourth and three. Drew Cady back to punt. Vasquez back deep, sets up office on the Lake Orion 40. Almost blocked, might have gotten a piece of it. Vasquez picks it up, stiff arms one man, and there's a flag came out late. That could have gone either way. Vasquez was fighting for an extra yard. It may be a hit out of bounds. It's against Oxford. They're calling it a late, late hit out of bounds. So the ball will move. Roberson cuts it inside. Brought down inside the 20. Nifty inside run by Billy Roberson. He's, he runs, he, he's got the speed to get to the outside. He's got the power to be able to run up the middle and he, he saw a combination of both right there. So first and 10, TR back, throws to Payne. Got a blocker out front, gets down inside the 10. They'll mark him down at the nine. Had a nice conversation with Billy Roberson pregame. And he said that he was, he's actually originally from the Washington DC area. And he said, it seems like going to Howard is like going home for him. Billy cuts it upfield, gets it outside, and he's in touchdown Lake Orion Dragons. He stopped and started about three different times on that run and got it in the end zone. And when you do that, you, you put that defender in a situation where I, I, I got to stop, I got to cut back, I got to, what do I got to do? And, and, and you saw that defender freeze for a second. Yeah. That's all he needed to do to spring himself into the end zone. And there was a penalty on the play, which unfortunately I did not see. It's being backed up. It's going to be second down and about seven from the 14 yard line. Neither of us saw it, Doug. No. And we have a timeout taken by Oxford. Continuing a conversation I had with Billy Roberson, he, I asked, I said, did, 
did it make it a little easier on you to get your commitment done early? And he said it, it took a weight off his shoulders. He said he's going where he wanted to go. He said the campus felt like home to him. And I think he'll do very well at Howard University. He and DeGraff and Reed as well, both going to Howard. They got some football players. They got some good kids. They got some good student athletes. That's that's uh, that's that's neat to see. So it's going to be second and seven from the four, from the fourteen yard line. The touchdown was called back. Roberson on the carry down to the 10. Third down and three for the Dragons. Trips to the right. Billy Roberson trying to cut it up field. He's got the first down inside the five it'll be first and goal for the dragons jamari cooper splits right pain and novak split left tr on the carry He's in, touchdown Lake Orion Dragons. And that is the thing that you love to see when they start keying on one back, not a problem. The quarterback will just tuck it and take it in. Right. Again, when you, yeah, you focus on a guy like Roberson, you focus on a guy like Payne, guess what? Get TR the, the, the ball. You know what TR stands for? Well... What's that? Touchdown run. Touchdown That's run. That's what he had. Okay. From five yards out. I was going to say it was Tristan something, but <laughs> touchdown run suits it just fine. Hoffman on for the extra point. Dragons were short alignment. Ball's down. Kick is up, and the kick is good. 9.17 to go in the second. We're tied at 14. One minute, one, excuse me, one minute, 52 seconds, five yard touchdown run by T.R. Hill. Five plays. Sixty-one. No, excuse me, thirty-nine yards. Excuse me, because they had the penalty. That's right. Yep. Late hit out of bounds on the on the punt return. So the Dragons tie it up midway through the second. Hoffman will kick off. Owen Pavlock is back deep. Roberson over 100 yards already this game as well. That 75-yard run helps a little yeah, bit, but uh, we're seeing some good backs. We're seeing some good football. Fairly mistake-free, too. Yes. Pavlock takes it on the four. Tries to cut it outside. Up over the 30 to the, over the 35 to the 37 they're going to call 36 they're going to call it or Oxford will take over first and 10 yeah this is this is going to be a track meet tonight you got two good backs and they're they're putting on a show you think they were talking about this game in the schools of both both schools all week long uh, probably it's, I, I, it's one of those things that happens every year they circle this date on the schedule. Twins for Oxford, I formation in the backfield. And 
Johnson was stoned at the line. No gain, it'll be second and 10. Carson Negri, Joseph DeBrincat in on the stop. DeBrincat has played some good football here. Same formation, a little motion inside. Pass is completed. Hendricks throws a pretty good ball. Yeah, it's a tough pass too. He's rolling to his left and kind of throwing back to the crossing route to his right. Oxford going hurry up. They didn't get it. They did not get it. They got maybe, maybe a half yard. It's gonna be fourth down and the length, not even the length of a football. Try to draw them off sides. Yeah, they are. Well, well, the offense. The offense jump. So that'll back them up five. And it might make, might make their decision a little easier. It might, but here's, here's my question. You've got a kid in Luke Johnson who has just run all over the Dragons over 100 yards this first half. And, and a third and short, you try to sneak it, and then four, you try to draw them off sides. Yeah. I, I just, Quick snap it and give it to your big guy. Absolutely. I mean. We've got our monitor back up go, here. The go road. with what has gotten you here to exactly. this point in time. Yep. So Oxford's in punt formation. Low punt. Good job by Katie to pick it up and get the kickoff. And it's caught at the 25 yard line where the Dragons will take over first and 10. Another sponsor for our second quarter is Builders Custom Flooring. It's a family-owned and operated flooring business located conveniently in downtown Lake Orion. Their showroom floor features a selection of hardwood flooring, carpet, luxury vinyl, and a wide variety of tile and backsplash. For more information about Builders Custom Flooring, visit their website at builderscustomflooring.com. First and 10 for the Dragons. Roberson on the carry. Gets about three and was stoned as he got about to the 32-yard line. That was a physical hit by Dean Rice there, but I, there's a couple times tonight where I've seen backs. It looks like they're making cuts. And I don't know if they're slipping or not, but uh, I, don't know, I don't know if it was because Rice was there to make the play, but it looked like Roberson slipped a little bit before he got hit by Rice. Second down. Double wide, double wing. Reverse to Raymond Payne. He's through out to midfield and he's brought down. And we have a player down for the Dragons. The ball will be spotted at midfield, trying to see who's down. And Raymond Payne's a kid who, who you know, every time he touches the ball, he, he, he can score. He's got that speed, he's got yes. that vision, he's got that quickness. Get him the ball in open space. Get a lot of these guys in the Dragons in open space and good things happen. Chelsea Hanning out to see to the downed player. While we have a minute. Hey, make sure you tune into replays of your favorite games right here on ONTV. 
Tune in on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. Saturdays at 1 p.m. for the most current games in our lineup. Games are also replayed throughout the week, so check our program guide on our webpage at orientontv.org for replay times that best fit your viewing schedule. Also visit our YouTube link for games on demand. orientontv.org. Connor O'Rourke was the shaken up player. He came jogged off under his own power. It's first and 10 for Lake Orion. Novak and Cooper are the wide receivers. Vasquez and Payne are in the slot. Roberson breaking it outside and he got double teamed and dropped at the 30 yard line. No gain. Katie was one of them to stop it. Sean Wilson, senior captain, also in on the tackle. So it's second and eight. Double wide, double wing. Vasquez on the handoff. He's over the 45, down to the 44, and it'll be third down. Double slot to the right. Roberson trying to get it upfield, just won't get there. Got a hold on the, or I assume a hold on the backside here, penalty. And Johnson was the one that trailed him and brought him down. It's one of those things that they call the. Well, here, do you want to redo third down or do you want to keep the down box moving? Penalties decline, move the down box. It's one of those things where you. It happened so far away from the play. The play was going to the right. The whole held came back on the yeah. left, left side of the line. And it's just so frustrating if you're you're watching that the next day in film is like, that's a block you don't need to make yeah. or a hold you don't need to make, certainly. They so declined it. They're taking the play. Fourth and two. The Dragons are going to go for it. Twins left, single wide right. TR. Got Novak. He's got it to touchdown Lake Orion Dragons on fourth and two. Great call play, Coach Bell. Yeah, it was. Novak was wide open, had to come back for the ball a little bit because it was a little bit underthrown. I thought that was going to give Jay Cady enough time to get back and knock it down. And Novak did a nice job going up for it, coming down with it, taking it in from 42 yards out. The old wide receivers coach says, go up and get it. And that he did. Hoffman on for the extra point. Vasquez holding. Ball's down, kick is up. Kick is good. 5.02 to go in the first half. It's now Lake Orion 21, Oxford 14. Good play action fake, linebackers bite. And you know what, Katie was beat off the line of scrimmage. He thought it was gonna be a run too. Novak did a nice job going up to get it, get, finding that way, getting it in the end zone. 14 and straight points by the Dragons. Brody Moore, number 42, did a great job of coming over from his safety position after Katie fell down and just about caught Novak as he went in the end zone. Six plays, 75 yards, time of possession, two minutes, 17 seconds, a 42-yard touchdown pass from T.R. Hill to Dom Novak. And we mentioned it last year, you could just see the growth by T.R. Hill game to game to game. Well, not, now, now you've, you've added that, if you can start adding that passing element that you yeah. saw there to the speed that he's got on the perimeter, yep. to the backs that he's handing the ball off to, Payne and Roberson and Vasquez. I mean, again, pick your poison now if you're defense. 
defensively. Who are you going to stop? You just try to stop one. You focus all your efforts on one. There's other guys that can beat you. Look, T.R. knows this is his team. I asked him you know, in pregame, and I just thought I'd slip it in. I said, how do you like your team? He said, I love my team. So he knows he is the leader of this team. Growing up right in front of our eyes. Absolutely. Line drive kick. Out of bounds at the four. And that is another period of growth for the Dragons. It's a new kicker this year. He did some last, a little bit last year, but it's the maturation process. And it is a process because, you know, I was talking with Coach Blackstock about this. It's, it's one of those things that at least every three years, the roster turns over and you always have to teach again. Well, that's what makes good, good coaches good coaches. Absolutely. You know, because you're always wanting to develop. You're always wanting to build programs. You're always wanting to teach and provide uh, knowledge. And that's what's so rewarding about coaching, too, yes. is you see that Absolutely. growth, that maturation, that, that, that development. No question. First down, toss back to Preston Wilder. He's a freshman, folks, number 32. Up on the varsity. So lost three at second down and 13 from the 32 yard line. Wins right, single wide, left, single back in the backfield. The Hendricks on the run. We got three penalties back here in yep. the backfield. They're at the line of scrimmage. Hendricks executed a great play fake and took off. It's interesting that Luke Johnson is not has not been in there on those first two plays of this series. Yeah. I don't know if it's one of those situations where they're giving him a giving a break as he's playing both sides of the ball. Could very well be. Face mask against the Dragons. It's gonna move the ball down to the 44 yard line of Lake Orion. It's a 15 yard face mask. Hendricks, got pressure, down he goes at midfield. Couldn't tell if he tripped up or over his own guy. Did Graffer read it up, touching him down, but, but, but. Um, Negri was back there too. I don't yeah. know if you, like I said, I don't know if he, one of them got him. Forced him up in the pocket and got tripped up and six yard loss. So it's second down and 16. And that's the thing, we don't have height and weights on here. It doesn't look like Hendricks is all that big, all no. that tall. No. Toss back, Wilder on the run, gets a few. It'll be third down and 14 from the Dragon 48. I mentioned, I may mention the fact that Luke Johnson was has not been in on this drive. He's over there. He's he's over there close to the coaches. He's on the sideline coaching up. Yeah. There. So I think he's okay. They're just probably giving him a giving him a break this drive. So twins come right, single wide left, single back alongside Hendricks. Hendricks back looks Middle. throws. Incomplete right through the hands of Jake Champagne. Yeah, Champagne runs a nice route. He's open initially. The ball's yeah. thrown a little behind behind him by Hendricks. So Champagne had a comeback. It was a back hip throw. It's a tough ball to catch as you're trying to 
to come across the middle. Um, brings up fourth down though for, for the Wildcats. They have shown no propensity that they're going to punt and they're not. Hendricks back, looks, throws, intercepted. Coming back the other way. We've got a flag thrown Brady. way back at the 19, 18 yard line. Brady Harbin picked it off and brought it back. You're right, that penalty flag is down at the 17. Coach Bell saying they're waving it off and sure enough they are. They are. Dragons ball. Nice interception by that young man. Yes, that's one of those things, but that's also one of those things where do you say, knock it down, take the ball at the, at the uh, where you had, yeah. you know, that's one of those things. It's a coaching yeah. point, right? But you know what? When you see the ball I there, know. and it comes in that big. I know. <laughs> so first and 10 for the Dragons at the 43. They come out twins right, single wide left. TR back, looks, throws, going deep. Got a receiver in just off the hands of Vasquez. TR threw a good ball, put it right there. It was, and you know, it was a good ball. Evan Geringer was right in his hip pocket, Vasquez's pocket, hip pocket, and uh, I thought for a second he was gonna have him, but uh, knocked down incomplete. And that's what's gonna be interesting to see. 2.12 left, Lake Orion's got two timeouts left. Can they convert? before the half. Trips right, single wide left. Roberson, the lone setback. On second down. Draw to Billy. Up to midfield. It'll be third down and about three. Reed Swiskowski and now a stop for the Wildcats. Got plenty of time. Don't have to rush it. Debrinkit comes in as a fullback. Billy got the first down and more. Run out of bounds about the 38-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Dragons. Minute 35 to go here in the second quarter. He just, look at him run, how hard he runs, and then he just bounces off defender. Boom, right there. Right, right there. Boom. Cuts it outside. The defender came into the hole. He bounces to the outside and gets about seven, eight more. And that's a sign of a good runner. The legs are moving. The, sh the head is totally still. First and 10 for the Dragons. TR. Around left end, breaks a tackle, first down, or close to it. They got Dom Novak on the edge with a hold. Yeah. He knew right away. So while the officials talk it over, We'll get the sign from referee Wally Rose. Yep. So 10 yard penalty brings it back to the Oxford 46 yard line where it's first and 16. TR back to pass, looks, going deep, going for Raymond Payne, just, he, he was double covered, he just couldn't he break was. the double coverage. Dom Novak came on a crossing route underneath, he was open, he would have been running all day if TR was able to see him. So it'll be second and 16. Now it's one of those things, even though that ball was incomplete, 
you've got to now defensively, you've got to understand that they're trying to spread you out, not only horizontally, but vertically as well with that speed. Oh, we got movement. We got movement on the far side. TR going deep, got a receiver. Touchdown, Vasquez. We got movement we on got, the far side. Got yep. A, yep, it's coming back. Yep, Jamari Cooper moved just before the snap. He wasn't set. And Coach Bell's almost out to the hash mark, trying to figure out, you know, get the explanation. Yep. And about 5,000 coaches in the stands voice their displeasure. You're just beating yourself, you know, that's, yeah. all, that's all you're doing. You're beating yourself, you're not, not getting set, hold on the perimeter. Got to clean that stuff up. So it is second down and 21. Trips right, TR back, going deep again. And there was some jostling going on between Vasquez and Luke Johnson. And no flag called. Jostling, in, 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 that's, that's your word of choice, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, mugging Incident, would be. <laughs> incidental contact, mugging, I don't know, yeah. Mugging would be too impolite of a term. So it's third down and 21. TR back, got pressure, sets up a screen to Roberson. Cuts it outside and he's down at the 40. It'll be fourth down and 12. And they're going to have to get a playoff. There are under under 45 seconds left in the half. Let's see where we're at. We're at 37 seconds and 25 seconds on the play clock. And the Dragons are going to call timeout. So now they stop the clock with 29.3 seconds to go and 25 seconds on the play clock, but the clock will start on the snap. So it's fourth and 13. The stands are packed. There's standing room only around the perimeter of the field to the south here. The kids are waiting. We got we got all these youth cheerleaders down here. We got the, the band ready to go down the far corner. I mean, it just like. What an atmosphere. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I know we say it every week when we're here. Yeah. But, I mean, we all know how special this rivalry is, these two communities are, and how much, you know, um, the game of football, just high school football, just brings these communities together. It it's does. Pretty, pretty special. TR back, looks, throws. Incomplete. So the Dragons turn the ball over on downs with 23.8 seconds. Oxford will get the ball at their own 41 yard line. They still have time for a couple plays. Yeah, they do have all the cheerleaders from as little as they come to the varsity cheer squad. Hendricks in the gun. Back, looks, throws, tipped at the line and incomplete. It'll be second down with 20 seconds left. 
Samuel Blakely, big Samuel Blakely knocked that ball down to the line of scrimmage. If you can't get to the quarterback, get your hands get your up hands on up. the way to the quarterback, yes. and that's exactly what he did there. Knock it down. Double wide, double slot. Hendricks looks, throws. Got a receiver brought down in Dragon territory. Oxford's going to call a timeout with We got a personal points. foul, too, in the backfield here on Hendricks. Or on the Dragons against Hendricks, I should say. Late hit. Yep. And that's going to be 15 more yards. And now they have a first down from the 30 with 12.9 seconds to go. And one timeout. And, and one timeout. And they just took it. So they will call two plays from the sidelines. They'll try to either take a shot to the end zone or work it to the side. We will be back here next Friday night for Lake Orion West Bloomfield. That will be the 15th of September. They're going to try a field goal now from 47 yards out. Jay Cady. Interesting call with 12.9 yeah. seconds left. You had a timeout. Brody Moore is the holder. Ball is down, kick is up, and the kick is no good. Wide right, with 7.2 seconds to go. The Dragons will get the ball back, and the Dragons will get the ball to start. Interesting decision there, because if, if the ball starts when the play is put in on a first down, you go yeah. clock it, run a play, then yes. you've got a timeout to use. If you gain yardage, you're closer. You still got a timeout to use before your kick. So, I, I, yeah. interesting. Yeah, it is. Obviously, the kid's got a big leg, and yeah. he can make it. But at the same time, you would he, think you'd want to get a little bit closer. He had the distance. Just pushed it to the right. So, the Dragons are going to take a knee and end the first half. We played a half. The Lake Orion Dragons lead the Oxford Wildcats 21 to 14. Halftime is underwritten by Malasha's Palace Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram located at 3800 South Lapeer Road in Lake Orion. Malasha's Palace has been serving Lake Orion's automotive needs since the 1960s. Give them a call at 248-393 2222 for more information and the Detroit Wing Company established in January of 2023 Detroit Wing Company Oxford located on the northeast corner of Trainer and Lapeer offers 20 signature sauces for their classic wings boneless wings and hand battered chicken tenders with guest favorites including honey barbecue Garlic Parmesan, Classic Buffalo, Honey Chipotle, Whiskey Barbecue, and Sweet Heat. The menu also includes signature crispy chicken sandwiches, mac and cheese, poutine, and more. For more information about Detroit Wing Company, visit their website, DetroitWingCompany.com. We'll be right back.
There are very few traditions in our country as enduring, engaging, and meaningful as high school football on Friday nights. Every Friday night in the fall, about 7,000 high school football games involving more than one million student athletes are held from coast to coast. Football has been a part of our nation's high schools for more than 100 years. High school football fosters a strong sense of community. It is the most popular boys sport and is our nation's number one spectator sport. The people in the stands aren't just fans. They're moms and dads, grandparents, sisters and brothers, their local store owners and neighbors from down the street, their former players and coaches, and their fellow students. Win or lose, their support and pride for their school and community are always there. Why play high school football? High school football equips young people for success in both the classroom and in life by inspiring character, leadership, resilience, teamwork, discipline, physical fitness, time management, community engagement, and other important life skills. Also through football, students develop essential skills for participating in other sports during the winter and spring seasons. The sport of football provides opportunities for students with any skill and size. The relationships, bonds, and camaraderie built both on and off the field will last a lifetime. The health and safety of students is a paramount goal of high school football. Like other contact sports, there is an inherent risk in playing football. However, the NFHS wants parents to know that we believe high school football is safer today than it ever has been. The following steps have been taken to create a safer high school football experience. Concussion awareness and management protocols for football. Education and professional development for football coaches. Football injury surveillance and research studies. Restrictions on helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact hits and blindside blocks. Limits on contact in football practice. Risk minimization focus by the NFHS Football Rules Committee. Ongoing improvements in football equipment emergency action plans and AEDs in place and ready to use in schools nationwide. As it has been for many years, high school football continues to be a significant part of communities across the country. The NFHS is committed to keeping the lights on and keeping the game as safe as possible for the millions of kids who will play for years to come. Contact your local middle school or high school to learn more and sign up to play football today. Just about ready to start the second half. The Lake Orion Dragons lead the Oxford Wildcats 21 to 14. Chris, you got some halftime stats. Yeah, it's some team, team stats. 277 total yards for the Dragons, 190 on the ground, 87 through the air. Billy Roberson, 130 yards in the first half. One touchdown, which was the first touchdown of the Dragons, a 75 yard touchdown run. Um, that was the first touchdown. Uh, T.R. T.R. Hill had a, a five-yard touchdown run. Uh, that second second um, second touchdown of the game for the Dragons, and then the the next drive, a 42-yard touchdown pass from T.R. Hill to Dominic Novak for the 21 points for for the Dragons. The Oxford Wildcats started the game by scoring first, getting on the board first, a 56-yard touchdown run by Luke Johnson. He's got over 100 yards. He's actually got 147 yards in the first half. Two touchdowns, a 56-yard touchdown run, and a three-yard touchdown run. And so 
Um, that's what we see so far in this first half. It's 21-14, a lot of yards on the ground. Uh, Roberson and, and Luke Johnson, but uh, it's uh, it's starting to open up a little yeah. bit. Lake Orion in the last couple series has started to open up, putting the ball in the air. So again, like I mentioned earlier, you're starting to spread the, the, the defense horizontally and vertically as well. And now, now what do you do defensively if you're the Wildcats? And those stats for Luke Johnson, that's keeping in mind that they pulled him for part of the second quarter. So the Dragons will get the ball to start off. Jake Cady has it teed up on the 40. And Jackson Vasquez and Raymond Payne. No, it's not Raymond Payne. Who else is that back deep? Is that Roberson? Is that number three? Yeah, it is Billy. Trying to reverse his field. Trying to get outside. He does and gets out of bounds on the 29-yard line. We're not used to seeing Billy back there returning kicks, but he brought that one back for about 25 yards. Another score in the OAA red at halftime. Clarkston 21. They were 0-2 coming into today's game against 2-0 Rochester Adams. Clarkston 21, Rochester Adams 7. Yeah, we said... we said that Clarkson's too good to be 0-2. Who was that, but Dennis Green? We are, they are who we thought they there were. There we go. <laughs> Broke a podium <laughs> saying it. TR leads them out. Billy Roberson stays in the backfield. Looks like they're going to have twins left, Vasquez and Payne. Billy trying to break it outside, cuts it upfield for about four. It'll be second down from the 32. Entertaining first half. Billy's tapping his helmet. He wants to come out. If he's gassed or yeah. got hit, he's get some water. Travis Acker. Checks in at the tailback position. He's a junior. TR on the carry over midfield into Oxford territory at the 48 yard line. He just. Nice little play flow here. You got the fake coming through. There's the fake, and he keeps it on the edge, and he's got. Vasquez there on the option formation if he wanted to ultimately pitch. He never looked at Vasquez on the on the, fi the, the, the the pitch opportunity. He kept the ball and got it into Oxford territory for first down. First and 10 for the Dragons. Double wide, double slot. TR again on the carry for about five. Puts his head down. Gets it down to the 43-yard line. It'll be second down. Just underway here in the second half. I'm Doug Corliss. He's Chris Frishing next to me. And the Dragons are leading 21-14. Double wide, double slot for the Dragons. Roberson's back in. Raymond Payne. Billy gets stoned at the line. He just ran into a wall. A great rush by the Oxford front four just stood up the Lake Orion offensive line, and Billy had no place to go. Yeah, 44, Reed Swiskowski did a nice job of making that penetration and stopping Roberson. Big third down play early on for the Dragons. Third and seven. TR back, looks, breaks it out right, comes back left. He's got open field in front of him. Got a first down and more. Breaks a tackle inside the 15. What a run by TR Hill. We have a penalty at the 31-yard line. Great. Look at the look at the time. Look at the offensive line. The 
the time TR has got to be able to throw. And then it's just becoming an athlete and being yeah. an athlete and knowing where to go with good vision. Right, th point. right there, he should have been stopped. And he gets another 15 yards afterwards. And you notice that at the very end? He, he, he's not a kid who's going to run out of bounds. He's going to put that shoulder down and go. The illegal block in the back by the Dragons. It'll be third down and four from the 41-yard line. Trips right, single wide left. Novak split left. TR back, looks, throws, caught. First down, Dragons. Raymond Payne at the 35. So the Dragons airing it out a little bit here to start the second half. And this is last year, again, going back to last year, this is... They weren't able to do this with consistency right. last year. Right. Now they're starting to do that. And as they start to get into week three, week four, week five, and beyond, you, you, you're now opening up so many more opportunities offensively for this Dragon offense. Bill Roberson on the quick handoff. Breaks it outside. He's got a first down, down to the 21. He, he, he runs with an attitude. I mean, look at this. Look at this run. Cut there. Bounce it back outside. Use the blockers. Payne's there to just shield. Doesn't get his hands on anybody, but Shields does enough to get Roberson an extra 10 to 12 yards. And just pushed Brady Moore out of his way. Jamari Cooper splits wide right. Novak split left. Payne's in the slot. Handoff up the middle to Vasquez. He got a couple. It'll be second down. And yeah, the captain, Sean Wilson, made the play. We have an Oxford player down. We have 8.52 to play here in the third quarter. Dragons up by seven. Hey, during this sports season, Orion Neighborhood Television will be covering a large variety of games. Our sports coverage will include varsity football, like tonight, volleyball, boys soccer, and more. Select games will be streamed live on dragonbroadcasting.org and will be replayed on our channel, Comcast Channel 10 and AT&T Channel 99. Visit orionontv.org for our program schedule. This game will be on. And we'll remind you again that filmmakers be ready. The Wildwood Film Festival will be kicking off on Thursday, October 5th at the ONTV studio located at 1349 Joslin Road. Teams will be given their requirements, which include a prop, location, and line of dialogue that is to be included in their film. You will have until 6 p.m. on Tuesday, October 10th, to submit the film. On Wednesday, the 11th, the films will be viewed and judged at 7 p.m. at the Oxford 7 Cinema in Oxford. Open to all ages. It costs $25 per team to enter and the winners will receive a cash prize. The contest benefits the North Oakland Community Coalition Program. To register, go to www.orionontv.org or call 248-393-1060. Number 50, Adam Maxfield, senior lineman, is the injured player. Oops, I just read the wrong number 50. Number 50 is Charles Campbell, senior lineman. Thank you, Chris. That's why I'm glad you're back, just keeping me straight. 
Billy on a run around the right side, tries to cut it outside. He does, backs into a couple tacklers around the 15 yard line. It'll be third down and about four. The scoreboard's calling it third and five, but I really think it's third and four. Eight, under 8.30 to go here in the third. Dom Novak splits wide left. Double slot with Payne and Vasquez. Payne in motion. Double reverse. Vasquez. He's got the first down at the 10. A lot of motion there. Payne took the handoff, handed it to Vasquez, and he turned on the Jets going up upfield. So first and goal from the 10. TR on the run. Cuts it up field. Touchdown Lake Orion Dragons. TR Hill. There's only one way you do that, Chris, and that's with flat out speed. Yeah, I mean, you get him on the perimeter and get that ball in his hand, and then boy, oh boy, I mean, he doesn't want to go down. He didn't go down. He got in the end zone. Again, that's why they call him TR. Touchdown run once again. So Hoffman comes on to try the extra point. Vasquez will hold. High snap, kick is up, and the kick is good. 7.34 to play here in the third. The Dragons now lead 28 to 14. Good fake to Roberson, and now just can beat the kid to the edge. He does, nice block. All, all it did was he shielded number six, Jay Cady. Cut back inside, TR did, and got into the end zone. There's your, your chest bumper, or high there five, or whatever you call it nowadays. 10 plays, great way to start this, the, the second half. 10 plays, 72 yards, four minutes and 14 seconds, a five yard touchdown run by TR Hill, his second of the night. Hey, go mobile with ONTV anytime. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, I guess Twitter's called what, X now? X. Yeah and YouTube on your mobile devices. Connect with Orion Neighborhood Television to see what's happening in our studio, see upcoming events, and watch Owen TV programs in high definition on demand. Orion Neighborhood Television, working to bring Lake Orion to the world. And wherever you are in the world tonight, watching this on a streaming service, glad you're with us on kind of a misty Friday night. Kickoff goes down to the three. Brought back to the 30 and more. Owen Pavlock on the return. And Oxford will take over first and 10 on their own 46 yard line. And that's one thing the last couple games Lake Orion's kind of struggled with is, is, the, is the field possession on, on, on special teams and stuff. And so uh, Oxford's had some good starts to their drives. Um, Lake Orion's now scored 21 straight points, but special teams is something that's going to have to be tweaked and worked on over the course of uh, time to not uh, give a great your opponent a great starting field position like they have now. And uh, to Preston Wilder, gets a couple. And part of that, Chris, is Hoffman is line driving his kicks. There's no hang time, so your coverage can't get down there. Good point. Mm -hmm. Once he learns how to get some air under those balls and get the coverage unit underneath, it'll take care of itself. And that's all part of the learning and the evolution of a kicker. There has got to be something wrong with Luke Johnson. I'm wondering he's not out there again for this series. Yeah. Fumble! Falls on the ground. 
Dragons say they have it. And the officials agree with them. DeGraffenried comes up with the ball. Let's see the stick. Good penetration by big number 79, Samuel Blakely. Boom! There's right the there. head on the ball. Nice form tackle. Ball comes loose. DeGraffenried sees that ball, fights for that ball, comes up with that ball. Boy, who made that hit because that was textbook. That's the way you teach it. That's the way you do yeah. it. That'll make Coach Powell happy in film study tomorrow. Double slot to the left. Raymond Payne cuts it upfield and gets a gain of about eight before he's brought down and the Dragons are on the move again. Second and two as we close in on the six minute mark of the third quarter. Dragons up by 14, looking to add. Motion this side, double reverse. Payne got the first down. And about three more. That's just a tough play to defend. They've run that a number of times tonight. That you got fast flow coming one way, all of a sudden it's coming back the opposite way. And, and you've got guys that are, are, are making that, that, that transition with the football yeah. who've got some tremendous speed. So your eyes are flowing one way, it comes back the other way. You've got to be disciplined defensively to be able to stop that. And Coach Bell, when he came back, brought that sweep back, that jet, jet motion, call it whatever you will. But you've got to have, you're right, you've got to have speed to do it. TR on the pitch back to Vasquez. He got maybe a yard. It'll be second down. So that's that option play is just an extension of what TR was doing early on when yep. Vasquez was trailing him. He was keeping that time. He looked at Vasquez, made the pitch. Only a gain of a yard, but again, that's how one play design helps to, uh, helps set up another play design. You saw that right there. Novak split wide. Vasquez in motion. Billy Roberson, quick hitter. Up the middle for about two or three more. They're gonna mark it on the 32 yard line. And it'll be third down and six. And Jamari Cooper splits out wide every time. He's gotta get a ball thrown to him. <laughs> TR rolls right, looks, he's gonna run it. He's got the first down and more. I think he was looking for Jamari out there. I think we, he was. But when he saw that green grass, he said, you know what, I'm gonna keep it and go. And smart decision gets the first down. Yeah, you know, we see the evolution of him, not only athletically, because he is a tremendous athlete, but running the offense, taking what the defense gives him. Hand off, Vasquez around left end for about seven, let's call it eight. It'll be second down. I'm gonna call out Raymond Payne on that because he was in the slot was that, that time to the left hand side, yeah. did a great job on, the, on his block of Andrew Bar Bar Barrett. Um, to, able to, to spring that carry for seven yards. Yeah. Again, a lot of the, you know, we, the offensive line over gets, gets overlooked because you know, they're, they're up front five doing a great job, but, but at the same time, ooh. Ball's on the ground and. Still on the ground. Yeah. 
I was about to say the offensive line is doing a great job of, 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 of blocking up front, but those perimeter guys too, those outside guys too, those wide receivers, those split receivers, those slot receivers, they got to do just as well on the perimeter to spring guys free. Dragons recover, and Chris, that play never really got set up. No, I, I don't know if TR never, ever got it into Roberson's hand or yeah. he bobbled it or grabbed for it, or I don't know, the high snap or high handoff, I should say, but uh, um, fortunate for the Dragons, they got it back. Now they're just playing the tempo game, right? Yeah. You got the play clock to be able to work with. You got to. Looks like they're going to call a timeout. Yeah, I think it, it took a long time for that play to get in. So the Dragons called timeout with 2.32 to go in the third. They lead by 14. I lost where I'm at with our reads. I think we've done them all. So we'll do them all over again. Hey, thanks to Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Broadcasting, you can watch Lake Orion High School sports live online all year. We've got a full schedule of varsity football, volleyball, and more this fall plus concerts and ceremonies. It costs less than $11 per month to watch sporting events, and half of that money goes back to the Lake Orion High School program. Be sure to designate Lake Orion High School when you set up your account. Get started at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. Orion Neighborhood Television thanks our student crews for their hard work and dedication for bringing Dragon Sports to the world. We have two of them up, up here tonight. Carter Doolittle is working our graphics tonight. And Aiden Novak is keeping stats for Chris tonight. TR on a carry gets flattened. Looks like Jay Cady stuck a hand out and tripped him up. So it'll be third down, fourth down, and four. We got some changes going there. We're gonna have a field goal attempt. It's gonna be a 30 yard attempt by Bill Hoffman. Vasquez holding. Ball's down, kick is up, and the kick is good. From 30 yards out, and the Dragons increase their lead to 31 to 14. Got that ball up high. I mean, there was good penetration there by the Wildcats, but uh, Hoffman got that ball up high and up and in for three. So, the Dragons trying to stay undefeated with West Bloomfield coming in next week. West Bloomfield was playing Stony Creek tonight. Limited scores on my, uh, my ticker here tonight. There is a fine mist blowing out of the north. Coach Bell <laughs> looked at the weather radar pregame and he said, how can it be cloudy? And showed the weather radar, there wasn't a cloud in the sky by radar. Ball's taken on the three. That's a little better. He got some air under it and they swarm him down at the 26 yard line. So the Wildcats take over first and 10 on their own 26, a minute 32 to go here in the third. 
of note, Luke Johnson is back in the game. He was out there that last defensive series for the Wildcats. He's now in it running back for them. It's almost like, and I don't know exactly when Luke went out, but it's almost like when he went out, their offense bogged down, and Lake Orange started taking over. We've, Lake Orange scored 24 yeah. straight points. They were down 14-7 at one yeah. point in time. Luke Johnson on the carry, and he went nowhere. They try. They got him for a yard loss. Looked like Carson Negre was in there. So it'll be second down and 11. Two wide out split right. Hendricks being chased. Throws, got a complete to Jay Cady. He picked up a block and is pushed out of bounds well, by Austin Kahn. Yeah, I don't know how Hendricks uh, avoided the rush for McCartan here. You see that McCartan just comes in untouched and McCartan ended up attacking that front shoulder. You gotta be able to attack that back shoulder, that throwing shoulder so that doesn't allow them to get that ball out into the flat to Katie. He was able to do so. Nice play by the Wildcats, first down. So first and 10 for the Wildcats. Single back in the backfield. Handoff on the end around and tackled. Andrew Parker Andrew coming Parker. from a secondary position. Nice play. Brought down Liam O'Neill. Two yard loss. It's so, second and 12, I'm sorry, Chris. No, I was gonna say, I talked to Coach Blackstock early about, uh, before the game too, about his, his secondary. He's really pleased with the development, yeah. the progress they've made. Yeah, I know you mentioned it earlier too, but, but uh, he, he couldn't talk highly enough about uh, how they've come along. They're gonna let the quarter end. We go to the fourth. The Lake Orion Dragons lead the Oxford Wildcats. 31 to 14. And Chris looking at this mist that's coming across, and the flag is blowing pretty good out of the north. So Oxford's going to be going into that, into the fourth quarter. And we're inside in the booth staying uh, staying dry. At staying least for the, dry. At least for the interim. We haven't done post game yet. <laughs> But it's great to be home. When I first looked at the schedule, it looked like Lake Orion was going to have five, possibly six home games this year. But things got shuffled around, and we have four home games. We have uh, tonight against Oxford, West Bloomfield, uh, is Clarkston here, I believe? I think Clarkston is here. Clarkston and Farmington. Farmington, yeah. I take that back, Stony Creek. West Bloomfield, Stony Creek, right. Clarkston yeah. and Farmington, yes. So first, second down and 12 for Oxford. They're going back in their huddle. I'm kind of impressed with Jack Hendricks. He's only a sophomore. They'll get a couple more years out of him. But he's thrown a good ball tonight and really hasn't let the moment get too big for him. It's they, just the, 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 when we're talking about schedules, we're talking about OAA Red, the juggernaut of this, this division. I mean, Oxford plays Lake Orion right now, and you know next week they go against Adams, and they go against Clarkston, then they go against West, West Bloomfield. Hendricks on the run. He dodged a couple tackles. 
DeGraffenried had him, and he just slipped away from it. So it's third down and nine. DeGraffenried got up a little gingerly. So it's third down. They come out with double wide, double slot look. High snap, falls on the ground, and Hendricks has to fall on it. Wow. So it's going to be fourth and 20. And Oxford will punt Vasquez back deep for the dra Dragons. You got to wonder if that snap had anything to do with this mist and this, this wet football, possibly. Could be. They try to keep the footballs dry. Nice punt. Vasquez going to let it bounce, and it will be downed at the 31 yard line where the Dragons will take over first and 10. 10 21 to go in the game. Dragons up. 31 14. If I didn't tell you before, I'll tell you again, our scoreboard for the second half is brought to you by Builders Custom Flooring, a family-owned and operated flooring business located conveniently in downtown Lake Orion. Their showroom floor features a selection of hardwood flooring, carpet, luxury vinyl, and a wide variety of tile and backsplash. For more information, visit their website at builderscustomflooring.com. Raymond Payne split wide right. Vasquez in the slot. Billy Roberson up the middle. Makes a juke. Got a first down and more over the 45. Up near the 48-yard line. It'll be first down Lake Orion. 17-yard run for Roberson there. To bring it with the lead block. Boom, right there. Nice cut back inside the block of Brandon Nupchik. Look at him just put his head down and, and move those feet. Billy's going to come out for a breather. And Travis Acker will take his place at the tailback position. Double wide, double slot. Motion this side. Raymond Payne stood up at the 45-yard line. And they'll mark his forward progress there. It'll be second down. Stood up, but not down. Stood up, but not down. Having Geringer made the initial hit yeah. on Payne. So it's second and three. Jamari Cooper lined up again on the right. Vasquez in a slot right. T.R. Hill gets a first down and more inside the 40 to the 38. Another first down for the Dragons. And the clock will keep running as soon as they reset the train chains. The decision making of T.R. Hill tonight is what I've been impressed with. Yeah. You know, exactly. I just, uh, and we've talked about it many times already, just the, the growth and the maturation from last year. But uh, the decision making, I, 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 like I said, I've been impressed with it. The ability to pull that ball out that time and keep it and get on the edge, get the first down, knowing where the chains are, things like that. And Travis Acker gets a carry. He got about six. Call it five. It'll be second and five from the 34. The other thing I will say about TR is that, you know, he looks 
very, very poised, very, very calm. Nothing, you know, he doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. Yeah, he gets excited, excited after big runs and stuff like that, big touchdowns. But, but boy, oh boy, just the composure out there, yep. you're, you're seeing it happen right in front of us. Raymond Payne on the handoff. Tries to cut inside, gets near the first down. He's going to be about a half a yard short. They got him marked down at the 31. The head linesman that came in marked him down closer to the 30. But the line judge had him marked at the 31, and he was closest to the play. So they're calling it third and two. Ooh. Ball's on the ground. Oxford saying they have it. And Billy never had the ball in his hands. No. Second time that's happened tonight. And the Dragons retain possession. Is that a... It's not a first down signal, it's just retaining oh. the possession, correct? Yep. Yeah, that's okay. correct. Okay. It is going to be. Let's see. Let's see where they see if we can see where that ball is handed off. Because I think that's again, that's the second time. Yep. yep. He just never I th I think that the pocket was big enough. TR yeah. is just not placing that ball, setting that ball into the, yes. into the pocket. He needs to do yes. a better job of that. Following his eyes into the, the pocket of, of Roberson there so it gets there. That's his job as a quarterback. I saw the same thing but couldn't put it in the same words you did. You did it very eloquently. Thank you. you know, Roberson's so. job is to feel that ball but have his vision yes. up and so he can see where the cuts are and the holes are. TR's job is to get that ball in the pocket. He's got to get that into his gut yes. so Billy feels it yes. coming in. Yes. So fourth and one, full house backfield for the Dragons. First down, Lake Orion. We've seen that for how many years on short yardage situations. They get a full house backfield and one of the three backs gets it and that's the the problem for the defense is knowing which one. Oh, I think you know which one. It's number three is going <laughs> yeah. to get it, <laughs> at least in this case. Billy checks out, and Acker stays in at tailback. TR under center. Vasquez in motion. He gets the handoff. Goes around the left side. Flag down. They may get Dom Novak on a hold again. Yes, sir. I think you are correct. Now they called Raymond Payne on it. So we, we go back to Wide Receiver Academy. And on those sweeps, what do you tell those outside blockers? Stay square. Stay square. Keep your hands inside the framework of the defender. The other option is to try to run that defender off so you don't have to engage the hands. Right. TR back to throw. Rolling, looking. He's going to run it down to the 25 and out of bounds at about the 23. Geringer chased him out of bounds. That's, that's another location or another play where I think, you know, it's good decision making by TR. He, he saw that Vasquez, Vasquez is going down the seam. He was not open, so he pulls it back and creates with his own legs and got five out of that play. That's... That's smart. You, you keep the clock moving. You keep the chains moving a little bit. You gain a you know five, gain a five yards. Nothing wrong with that. Down to the 24, where it'll be second and five. Up the middle goes Acker, 
he's going to be a couple yards short of the first. It'll be third down and three. So give actor two. Nine plays already in this drive. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to rush. You can be very deliberate. You can very be, be very methodical, and that's what Lake Orion's doing. Eat the clock. Use that play clock to your advantage, absolutely. This offense is so, so suited to eat up clock. Keep it on the ground, get chunk yardage. That's been Coach Bell's mantra. We have a delay of game. Now don't eat that much clock up though. No, don't eat that much. <laughs> keep, an eye, keep an eye on those big clocks in the end zone. So that'll back it up five. It'll now make it a third down and eight. And we're at the five minute mark of the fourth quarter. Billy does. Oh, is that? That was Raymond Payne, and he he got swarmed under as he tried to make his cut, and it'll be fourth down. Sean Wilson was a half step slow from sacking T.R. Hill right there. He got the ball off to Payne just in time, but didn't go anywhere. He actually lost a yard or two. So what do you do? You're on your own 28-yard line. You have a fourth and 10. A punt doesn't do you much good unless you can aim it for the corner. A field goal attempt is fairly long, but at the same time, if you miss it, you take, you take it to the 20, you, you might as well go for it, right? Well, and they are going to go for it. Acker stays in at the tailback position. I think they're just giving Billy a rest. He's had a heavy workload tonight. From the gun, double wide, double slot. TR looks, throws, got a receiver, caught. Jamari Cooper, Jamari you called it Cooper. For, you called him earlier. You got to get him a ball. You got him a That's ball, a big it. ball, yeah. 22-yard gain, nice. Congratulations, young man. You deserve that one. And Little took, double move. He took it to yeah. the inside and then broke it to the outside, found that opening in the zone. Talk about coming up clutch. Nice job with that offensive line. Nice protection. TR was able to sit back and pitch and catch and for 22 yards and inside the inside the 10. So, first and goal from the eight. Acker on the run gets it down to the five. It'll be second and goal. Dragons looking to add to their lead late in the game, 3.55 to go. Novak split wide to the left. Vasquez in motion. Raymond Payne touchdown Lake Orion Dragons. Made it look easy. And that is a testament to that offensive line. To seal off that right side, left side of that Oxford line. The offensive line, the discipline, the backfield flow, the, the, all that, the timing of, of it all. Yeah. You know, the precision of the, the way they're running that, that offense. 38 points later, well, hopefully 38 points later. Hoffman, ball is down, kick is up, and the kick is good. 
3.28 to go. It's now Lake Orion 38 and Oxford 14. You know, one of the things Coach Bell said at the beginning of the year in one of the local publications is that, you know, he can see the kids becoming a little bit more familiar with what they're doing, especially offensively. You know, they returned a ton of talented football players, and, and Coach Bell said he thought that this might be one of his more talented, hardworking teams the school has ever had. And, and so he's, he's setting the high expectations and then for, the, for them this season. And, and you're seeing this, 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 this team grow yeah. over a, the first third of the season so far. And, and again, it was 14-7. Now they've scored 31 straight. You know, that's saying a lot because he had a team that went to the semifinals and the state finals within two years, within three years. And, you know, there, there was a lot of talent on that team. How about this 13-play, 69-yard drive? Time of possession, six minutes and 53 seconds, a five-yard touchdown run by Payne. And the kickoff goes out of bounds. So when your ability to, to, to be up 31-14 at the time and, and run off an almost seven-minute drive in the fourth quarter, yeah. um, that's the way you win football games. It, absolutely. And we're going to get some substitutions in on the Dragon defense. Parker Gannon checks in at a safety position. Tyler Ratliff checks in at a defensive end. Defensive tackle, I'm sorry. Handoff, Chuck McConey, and he's stoned. There you are, Tyler Ratliff. That's a good win for Lake Orion, uh, for obvious reasons. I mean, again, it's your, it's your rivals, but it's the first game in the OAA Red. And, and yep. you know what, games like this can, can, can build confidence. Games like this against your rival, against, again, within division, can really start to establish uh, that confidence you need to make it through the, again, that juggernaut of the, the next four games that you're going to experience. Yeah. Goes a long way. Hendricks back, throws, incomplete, intended for Liam O'Neill, and he never really got out of his break, and the ball was too far in front of him. So that'll be third down and 13. And the clock stops on the incomplete pass with 2.43 to go. We mentioned it again next week, the West Bloomfield Lakers come in to take on the Lake Orion Dragons. Hope you can be here. Kickoff is at seven o'clock next Friday night. Handoff, McConey again. It's going to be Troy Pakmara on the stop. It's going to be fourth and nine. And it looks like Drew Cady is going to punt. Vasquez sets up office on his 30. High kick. Fair catch called for on the 33 and made. So the Dragons will take over with a minute 54 to go. 67 yards from their end zone. We're going to get some substitutions in for the Dragons. Number 10, Brody Thompson, 
sophomore quarterback. Hand off around the right side to Austin Shimmings, number 26. He goes down for no gain around the left end. They're going to give him no gain. It'll be second and 10 as we close in on 130 to go. Handoff up the middle goes nowhere. Un unpiled to see. There it is, Doug. You've seen that before, haven't you? The double O trophy? Yeah, we've seen it a couple times. It's funny. When this series resumed in 2009, you know, the trophy was almost an afterthought. It was just getting these two teams <laughs> playing again. Double wide, double slot. Handoff around the right side. Grady Harbin, who had the interception earlier in the game, and we're ticking off the last 30 seconds of Dragons don't have to snap it. It's not an afterthought now. No, on a cold, misty night in Lake Orion, the Dragons have defeated the Oxford Wildcats 38 to 14. What an offensive display T.R. Hill put on tonight. He ran this offense like a well-oiled machine. I think, you know, T.R. And, and obviously Roberson and Payne and Vasquez yeah. and, you know, the, the completion uh, from T.R. Hill. Um, the completion from T.R. Hill to Dominic Novak. I mean, offensively they did a nice job. Defensively, once they figured out, once they figured out how to stop Johnson, you know, it was a different ball game. Yeah. And, and like you said, I don't know if he was hurt, but he didn't play much in the second and third quarters. And let's face it, Oxford didn't get the ball much in the fourth quarter. So that's our score. We'll be back from the field. You're watching exclusive coverage of Lake Orion Dragon football here on Orion Neighborhood Television. We'll be right back. Down on the field after the Lake Orion Dragons have a convincing win yeah. over the Oxford Wildcats 38 to 14. And Coach Bell is making his way over here. Coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, before we get into what happened tonight, uh, we all know about Billy. Yep. We all know about the graph and read. Talk about the evolution of your quarterback. He's playing great football. He makes good decisions. He's one of our biggest weapons. Um, 
He can run it. He can throw it. He's smart. He's calling. He's calling some plays out there that he sees. Um, he just. I, he is. He's worked very, very hard in the off season. He's worked very hard all summer with Coach Fisher, and uh, I can't say enough good things about him. He's accurate. He's tough. You know, our just our concern. We just have to keep him healthy. But yeah. he's he's playing lights out. Yeah. Talk about the defense because you were down 14-7 and Luke Johnson was seemingly going off for, for Oxford there. And at some point, something happened there in that second quarter. You guys end up scoring 31 straight thereafter. What, what, was something done defensively that allowed you to make adjustments to, to hold him under? Part of it's just settling down sure. in tackling. We missed a lot of tackles early on. The other thing is when they run their zone scheme, you know, if you're not, if you're not staying in your gap, you're allowing for open holes and cutbacks. That's the thing. Sometimes we would play too fast. We would overrun plays. You throw in a missed tackle, and it was big plays. So, and they're very good. They're one of the best zone teams around, and they got a back of runs hard. And yeah, early on, they, they, they were coming off the ball. Mm -hmm. So, not only did we have to do a good job against the zone, we had to hold our ground as they were coming off the ball. So, it was a good test for us. Your front four played really well tonight. Yeah, they do. You know what? They play hard, and they and we're rotating those guys and our outside backers, our two bookends, and in, in Katie and and uh, Joey, secondary's been playing well. I love our defense. It's just it's it's a new scheme. We've gone from the four two five to more of the hybrid three four. Um, so I just we gotta keep getting better every single week. West Bloomfield comes in next week. What have you seen from them so far? I haven't seen a lot. You know, they uh, haven't seen any film on them. I'll have all the film this week. I know they return some really good players, but so do we. Yep. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. I mean, this is, you know, we've been hopefully growing up the last year and a half, so we're ready to play a big game. And then again, can we beat them? We'll see. I just want our kids just to pin their ears back and give it all they got and give us a shot. Yep. Coach, congratulations again. Thank you. See you next week okay. for West Enjoy Bloomfield. Success. Thank you. I think with this win this week, it was all phases. Maybe a couple little setbacks on special teams, but the offense and defense played very well. Yeah, they did, and that's what you need to, to, to do to sustain success in this game. you got to be good in all three phases. And, and um, that young front defensively, if, if they start stepping up with that, the, the secondary and so forth, you start to, again, these are confidence builders, these games. And, and showing that, that, yes, we can do this. And, yes, we can play with, with uh, teams in this league. And so um, it's going to be interesting, uh, a great week of practice. They're going to need a great week of practice to prepare for, for a game, a team like West Bloomfield, who has you know, continuously been there at the top of this league yeah. for, for quite some time now. And so, um, but you know darn well the Dragons coaching staff will have their team ready to go and uh, put in a great week of practice. That'll wrap it up from here for Chris Fritching, our producer director, Joey Tysick, Joe Johnson, as always, excellence on the sideline. And for all of our Orion Neighborhood television crew, I'm Doug Corliss. Good night, everyone. <laughs>